So in this video, we're going to set up and learn a cool technology called Shell in a Box in the OS level, which if you don't know what Shell in a Box is, stick with me to learn more. Hello, what's up guys? Medium Guy here. Welcome to the next video on my channel. In this video, we're going to see how to set up and install Shell in a Box service in the OS level, which will give us access to the Linux terminal through a web browser. So we'll be able to create shell sessions remotely inside our servers. So if you haven't watched my previous video where we installed the shell in a box service as a Docker container, I'll put the link down below so you'll be able to access it easily so without any delay let's get down to work so i have created a terminal inside my server where i'm going to install the shell nebox service and i'll be able to access that server remotely without SSHing into it so as the first thing i'll hit sudo apt update to update the repositories so i'll be able to install that so now that my repositories are updated, I'll say sudo apt install shell in a box. I'll hit enter and as you can see, it is already installed on my machine. If it is not installed on your machine, it might take up a little bit more time for you. So right now the shell in a box service is installed. And if I go ahead and say sudo nano slash etc defaults shell in a box i'll hit enter so basically this is the file where you put the configurations for the shell in a box service and as you can see i've passed the shell in a box daemon start to one so this will tell the shell in a box to start automatically the shell in a box port is the 4200 which is the default port for the shell in the box service. So it is recommended to change this port. Like for example, I'll change it to the 9999. And you can see that we've got some extra configurations that are by default these values. And if we want, we can change for some rare cases. So in normal use cases, it is not required to change these maybe in some special cases and as the next option i've passed the ip address of this server that i've installed the shell in the box service and that's it for the very basic configurations so i'll save this i'll hit ctrl x to exit the nano if i say sudo systemctl restart shell in the box I'll hit enter and the shell in the box service will be restarted. And if I also say systemctl status shell in the box, I'll see that it is in the running status on the exact same port that I passed in the configuration file. So if I switch to the browser, I'll put in the server's IP address with the port that I configured in the shell in the box configuration file i'll hit enter and as you can see there is no result because it is running on the https protocol so as you can see with the https protocol i'll be able to access this service but it is not secure because it is using a self-signed certificate if you wonder how to create self-signed certificates and use it in your services i've got videos on my channel which i'll put the links down below so in here as you can see i've got a shell like interface which is asking me for the login credentials so i'll put in my credentials i'll pass in some wrong password to check if it really works so you can see it says login is incorrect so i'll put in the correct password and as you can see i'm inside the server so the thing that i prefer doing is right click on this screen and change the colors to white on black 
so it will be like a dark mode so as you can see I can do anything that I would normally do in the terminal but this time through a web browser so that's it for this video I hope you learned something new in this one also if you haven't watched the previous video where we deployed exactly the same service but in a docker environment I'll put the link down below so if you want you can check it is having this secure or not no one can say but preferably just use SSH connections wherever possible this might come handy just in some rare cases where temporarily you'll open this service do some stuff and again stop this service so don't forget to watch the other videos on my channel where I've got cool videos about cool technologies and also don't forget to like and subscribe which will help grow the channel and with that I hope to see you in the next videos.